how do you think about pipeline management? Like, how would you define it and why is it important for everybody to master? Uh, I mean, I think I've, I'm going to share my screen here. I think this is like, I think people really overcomplicate this. <laughs> so what I would think of, and can you see the screen, Corey? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, look at this ugly pipeline that I just drew with these uh, lines that are not very straight. I would look at the pipeline in three stages, and this is going to depend on if you are an SDR, BDR, or if you're doing, you know, full cycle sales, like we have a couple of account executives on there uh, on the call today. So what I think is like you have top, middle, and then bottom. Where I want to spend the most time if I'm a full cycle sales rep is I want to spend 50 plus percent of my time on the stuff that is closest to closing. So I'm going to prioritize the majority of my time on the stuff that is closest to getting to the finish line. The mistakes that you can run into here that I oftentimes see with people is they spend like 95% of their time here. And they're not doing this top of funnel activity. And this is where I recommend, depending on how full your pipeline is, spend 10 to 20% of your time, which if you're working 40 hours a week, do the math, that's 48 hours per week on top of funnel activities where you're filling the top of the pipeline, reaching out to net new accounts and prospects that are not currently in your pipeline. 